Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're enjoying this uh, wonderful week in June. Uh, delayed happy Father's Day to all the fathers uh, that I know, part of this organization, Franks and Colleague. I hope you had a great time with your families. Uh, welcome to another real estate news clip from Realty World South Florida, where we talk about the current market conditions and everything that's happening in our market in the past week. Uh, this week, I wanted to go over a couple of things like I always do. One of them is our current sales trend. Uh, the numbers just came out for last month. In Day County, there was 875 single family homes sold last month and 1,420 condo sales last month. That is 20% month over month increase in sales in Day County and 46% year over year if we compare last May to this, to this May that we just finished. So that's a 46% increase from last year and 20% increase from last month. In Broward County, there was 1,142 homes sold and 1,537 condos sold. That is a 6% month over month in sales and a 14% year over year increase in sales. What does this mean? The market is hot. Any buyer you have sitting in the sidelines waiting for the market to get better, they're missing out. Interest rates are about to start going up and prices are about to start going up. We're consuming all of our inventory. So reach out to all your future customers or customers you have in the pipeline or they're looking, saying the time is now. This is the summer. This is the year that everybody will look back and say, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay, also, uh, that, will, that will lead you to my next topic. A lot of you have called me recently are talking to me about how can, what, how can I do to make sure my offers are presented and presented properly and I get my offers signed by those sellers when you're representing a buyer. It's a couple of tips that I just emailed, but I want to go over it with you. Uh, these are the tips that I email weekly to all you guys. A couple of real estate tips, really short tips, just to, to keep your head uh, of what's going on. Um, key things that you can do. One, when you present this offer, either via mail or in person, in person is a lot better, talk about your client, talk about your buyer, describe the buyer to that agent. Try to appeal to them at that. Um, I know that if you're working with a REO agent, it's kind of difficult because you can never track them. It's only via email. Write a detailed email, not an aggressive tone, but an email introducing your client to them. And follow up and always try to mention your client and your client's interest in that email. Um, when you present that offer to that seller, if you can do it to the agent in person or via the phone, talk about the market. Talk about how things are getting better. Talk about what's going on in their market share. Because although they have that listing, they might not be following up what your market share is. So you know, try to touch on that. So they know you're an expert in that market. Um, contingencies. Contingencies are very big in this market. Uh, all contingencies could be presented. It's, it's just how you present them. We just finished doing a deal with a subject to sale contingency attached. Why? Because it was written in a way that gives everybody a win-win. Remember, in every negotiation, everybody has to win for it to be an equal negotiation. Uh, last but not least, uh, you might want to end the email, sort of break down what the offer says. If you're saying, you know, my buyer, uh, Mr. and Mr. Smith, are buying this property, they would like to close in, don't say 30 days, they would like to close on July 7th, they have a approval for a mortgage uh, with a XYZ lender, XYZ lender has provided me with a pre-approval, here's a tax as a pre-approval, you, you follow what I'm saying, try to give them a detailed synopsis of what you're talking about in your offer, what your contract says. So it sort of introduces you in a better light than anybody else submitting an offer. And last but not least, if you need any help presenting an offer to anybody, please feel free to give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, say, hey Ernesto, help me out with this transaction, and that's what we're here to do. Because a Realty World, remember, we're not 100% commission, we're 100% support. I hope you enjoy this week in this video. Uh, there will be no video next week. I'll be out on vacation. Uh, so if you have any questions, shoot me an email, or I'll call you back by the end of the day. Make it a great week. See you in the field.